Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. All right, let's get into it. We are doing boom, Battle of the Fragrance Oils, <laughs> installment number two. If you're new here and you missed the first version, the first installment that I did of this one, check out my video right here. It was super fun. All right, y'all, we are starting off strong. We are going in for a triple head of wood. Good. All right, here we go. We are going to test three different variations or takes on Baccarat. <laughs> All right, I need to preface this with, not everyone can smell this oil. They are anosmic to one of the notes in this. It is ambergris or ambroxan. That is totally fine. This comparison isn't for you, but if you have clients that love it, maybe you can take something away from that. For those of us who love this, we know this scent, this fragrance is generally light to begin with. I see a lot of comments in the Facebook groups of people like, I can't smell it. You're probably anosmic. And then the other people are like, it's nice, but it's light. I can barely smell it. And that is this fragrance. So whether you have the perfume or the fragrance oil, if you have the perfume, you know this is a light scent. So um, I use it with unhinged abandon. All right, let's get into it. Midwest, we're gonna go in first. Baccarat Rouge 540. It's similar. <laughs> there, is a, there is a perfuminess to it a little bit, but it's missing something and I can't put my finger on it. It's nice. This is a great affordable dupe of the perfume. It's good. It's Baccarat. If you didn't know it and you smelled this, it's Baccarat. All right, we're putting that Midwest up against Makesy's Rouge Mahogany and Rare Musk. I had no idea this was a Baccarat. I ordered this to smell it, try it, and I was like, you know, they get you. They have the most clever, like, gorgeous sounding names. And then you get it and you're like, I don't know what that is. All right, let's go. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. It's like Baccarat adjacent. It smells broken, if I'm being honest. I don't like it. It's Baccarat, but it's not. Like, it's... It's Baccarat adjacent. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know. There's something weird about it that I can't put my finger on. I'm sorry, it's not so helpful. Okay. Um, yes, that is Baccarat. Is it the best version of it? No, Midwest is better. Let's see how it stacks up against Makesy and Midwest, and that is Simbi Baccarat. <sighs> I mean... It's so good. Okay, so in those Facebook groups, when people are like, who is the best Baccarat? I always chime in and I'm like, it's Simbi. It's Simbi, it's Simbi, it's Simbi. But now that I've smelled Makesy's, it's not Makesy, but then we have Midwest in the mix. Yeah, there's a, there's a, it's something floral in Midwest that while it's nice, it makes it lean away from what I love about the Baccarat. So it's nice, Simbi. I freaking love it. It is so good. This is it. This is it right here. <sighs> pound for pound, let's compare. So Midwest, a 16 ounce bottle of their Baccarat Rouge 540 type is $28.99. Makesy's Rouge Mahogany and Rare Musk, a 16 ounce bottle is gonna run you $85.95. And Baccarat, a, a Baccarat from Simbi, a 16 ounce bottle is gonna run you 34. So you're looking at about a $5 difference. And I don't think that is enough to say, oh God, you gotta get the Midwest one. I think Simbi is absolutely worth it. If you want a true Baccarat fragrance, Simbi, it's the clear winner here, you guys, regardless uh, of price. Cause the ingredients that go into this are expensive. So I actually remember this being more expensive, but $34, the winner is Simbi. Triple Hedda, baby. All right, Triple Hedda, we're going Set Memory versus Northwood versus Hive and Honey. Okay. All right, here we go. So we are going to put Byredo Bibliotech Type three ways. Let's get into it. All right, the first one is from Set Memory. And it is called Plum and Parchment. If you're not familiar with Bibliotech, it's a really nice high-end 
higher end perfume. Uh, it's it's really good. The name would make you think it's like books or something, but it's not like that at all. It's more like fruity. I get a lot of plum notes. Um, it's really nice. I really love it. So let's go, scent memory. Ugh, yeah, this is really good. Like you can barely detect the patchouli in here, but it's not woody. You know what I mean? It's more like, I don't know. I just think it's bright. It's a little fruity, a little floral because it's got like plums and violets. Okay, really good. That is scent memory. All right, this next one is Northwood. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I love this oil and uh, it's an exact dupe. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I'm just gonna compare it. Okay, Pete's getting eyes, so sorry. I think the comparing side to side, the plum and parchment is <laughs> Northwood. Oh, so a bit is getting lost in the dry down. Scent memory, it has a little bit more depth than the Northwood. Hive and Honey, they just released their version of Bibliotech. Let's get into it. Okay. Yeah, okay. It smells identical to the Northwood one. The strongest one with more depth is Plum and Parchment. How does it stack up pound for pound? Let's get into it. All right, Plum and Parchment, a 16 ounce bottle is $36. Uh, Northwood, a 16 ounce bottle is $46.66. And then Hive and Honey, their 16 ounce bottle is $34. So you are looking at the exact, almost the same price. Northwood is the most expensive. Honestly, my money, now that they're side by side, Plum and Parchment from Scent Memory. And then Hive and Honey, if you wanted to save a couple dolls, if you're already ordering something on Hive and Honey, you could throw this in your cot. Yeah, I can't believe that Northwood one is so expensive. Again, I don't remember that. They're all great, but it's Scent Memory is the clear winner. All right, I have one more head-to-head -head sort of perfumey type of oil, and we are going to put Makesy's Dark Rose and Labdanum up against Black Tie Barnes Rebel Rose. All right, I'm gonna start with Makesy first. Dark Rose and Labdanum. This is so dang good, you guys. It's sweet, little woody, florally. Ugh, this is so good. It smells rich. Comparing to the Rebel Rose by Black Tie Bon. <laughs> it smells identical, identical, hold on. They're the same. I'm not even sure that one has more of the other. <laughs> like they smell identical. These are the same. Wow. This reminds me of a perfume by Marc Jacobs that I used to wear called Decadence. Every time I wore it, I got compliments all day. It's a very sexy scent. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Black Tie Barn. Yeah, I mean, it's so good. All right, let's compare pound for pound. All right, 16 ounce bottle of Dark Rose and Labdanum from Mixi is $69.95. A one pound or 16 ounce bottle of the Rebel Rose from Black Tie Bond is $36.95. That's a $33 difference. So you could buy like a ton of other oils or like another pounder from Black Tie Bond. I mean, they smell the same. All right, do I have, all right, try and pick something. They're, I, they're identical. Nothing that I can detect, certainly. Um, black tie bomb. All right, for our next head-to-head -head challenge, we are putting Makesy up against Candle Sign. All right, this is Blue Ash and Velvet Smoke from Makesy. Let's get into it. It's so good. Mm, it's so good. It's smoky, but it's you can smell the trees in there. Oh my God, it's so good. This is so good. If you follow my channel and you've seen my fragrance blending video, uh, 
my favorites, you probably know what I'm gonna compare this to. All right, we're gonna put the Blue Ash and Velvet Smoke up against Candle Science's Fireside. I love using this as a blender. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's got like a little sweetness, but it's smoky. Uh, man. The Makesy Blue Ash is smoother. Very true. The Fireside, it's good. It almost has like a camphorous note in there. Now that I'm, I, it's really prominent. Oh man, they're both good. And the clove. My husband would say this smells like Altoids. You know, <sighs> okay. Price unseen. I like the blue ash better. I think it's important that when you're buying oils, sure, budget is obviously a thing depending upon where you are in your business. I also think quality and like full fragrance depth profile is important as well. Let's do the price comparison pound for pound. Oh no, wow, I get it. Blue Ash and Velvet Smoke is completely sold out in all sizes, God bless. Okay, a 16 ounce bottle is $29.95. Oh, this is part of their Lux for Less Sense. Oh, and we're putting that up against Candle Science's 16 ounce bottle is $25.12. Sense. It's four dollars and change difference. If you want the better version, I would say go for the Makesy. Um, it's it's just nicer. Wow, unexpected, but okay, Lux for less, girl. I see you. I see you. Wow. Oh yeah, it's so good, you guys. All right, our next head-to-head -head battle is going to be. Candle Science versus Hive and Honey. We're gonna be comparing Citron and Peppercorn from Hive and Honey and Peppercorn Palmanda from Candle Science. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with Candle Science first. What's so funny, <laughs> I first reviewed this oil like last year. It was so peppery, it was like in my throat and I kept coughing and I was like, well, I don't know what's going on. It's like in the name. It is Peppercorn Palmander. It's discontinued on Candle Science. They reformulated it to be part of their Clean Sense line and it's called Orange Palmander. I think they all smell pretty identical. I didn't make this a triple header because technically, you know, it is a different oil, but I will say that if you love the Candle Science one, you could absolutely get the Orange Palmander one. Um, it's very peppery, it's, it is citrus, it's really nice. It's definitely a great fall fragrance. Though if you blended it, you could make it a year round fragrance. Okay, it is really, really good. All right, Citron and Peppercorn from Hive and Honey. Okay. <laughs> this one is spicier, more citrus forward, like more orange. It's really good. Um, full disclosure, I did just put this in wax because I am testing it for a fall fragrance and it is killer. It is throwing. I'm gonna share my notes with you. It's very spicy and citrusy orange forward. See, um, at least I'm consistent. <laughs> it filled the entire second floor here with just one little two ounce uh, tester. The cold throw I gave a 6.5 and the hot throw I gave a 10. So obviously I am choosing the Hive and Honey one. I think Hive and Honey is winning this head to head. They are very similar, very, very similar. This one you're getting more of the spice and the citrus. This one you're getting a lot more of the peppercorn, the pepperiness with some citrus. Definitely, um, it's not, it, you can't get it anymore, but I had it so I wanted to compare it. I know it's kind of a bit of a tricky one to compare, but the throw, how just the fragrance is just screaming and blooming in the wax. It is so stinking good. So if you're in the market, I would say Hive and Honey Citron and Peppercorn is the winner. We are going to compare Black Amber Lavender from Midwest against the Flaming Candle. Let's go! Let's start with the Flaming Candle. Black Amber Lavender. Okay. It's very good. It's more lavender forward. 
So you're getting more of like that sort of spa elevated uh, vibe. Really good. It's a true lavender. It doesn't smell fake or anything like that. Let's compare it to Midwest Black Amber Lavender. So, oh my gosh, it's so dang good. The lavender isn't as forward in the Midwest version. It's got a little bit of like floral perfuminess to it. Me, 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 me. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> um, I like the Midwest better. But if you want something that's more lavender, so they're they're pretty similar. They're nearly identical. The flaming candle it has a touch more like lavender forward versus the Midwest one. Dang, the Midwest one is just so stinking good. Okay, yeah, I would say Midwest for sure. I think is better though. If you're already shopping on the flaming candle and you want to pick it up, it won't do you wrong. Let's compare pound for pound, shall we? All right, Black Amba and Lavender from The Flaming Candle. A 16 ounce bottle is $21.83. The Black Amber and Lavender from Midwest for a 16 ounce bottle is $22.99. So you're just looking at just over a dollar difference there. I'll just repeat what I've said. If you're shopping on Midwest and you wanna get it, grab it. I wouldn't go out of my way for a dollar difference. I mean, your budget may vary, but honestly, uh, for me, Midwest is the clear winner. Shoot. Well, shoot, that was fast. Again, if you missed the first one, you can check it out right here. I am gonna be creating a brand new playlist because I plan to continue to do these and I have another one coming very soon. But if you have any oils that you'd like to see me compare in these videos, send them my way, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.